Alright, welcome to the Admin Tone blog video. This video is going to be about installing a MOS server. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so here I'm using KVM to set up a, a, a virtual machine. I already got a network set up here for it, but we'll get that in a second. So we're just going to do a regular 1604 Ubuntu. We're going to give it a good amount of RAM, just 2 gig and 2 CPUs. And I want to give it a little bit of space here, so we'll give it uh, 30 gig. And I'm going to go ahead and call it MOS. And here's where I got that special network. I covered that in my article at the end. Be sure to check it out. It's just creating a separate NAT network with no DACP 192.168.100.x uh, size 24. So here we're firing up our server. Most of this is going to be a basic uh, Muntu install uh, with a few caveats that we'll do different. So thanks to the magic of view editing, we're going to skip past a bunch of this and just point out the interesting parts. So we set up our disk to use the entire disk space. And basically what we're going to do is make sure that we set it to have a static IP. It's going to try to pull an IP automatically. Um, and then we have to kind of go back and tell it we want to manually install or manually configure an IP. And that's what we did there. So we configure a network manually. And we're going to put in our IP address. So in this little NAT network, I don't have any DHCP. I don't have any DNS. Uh, so we're going to put all that in there and just use the standard 8.8.8.8 for the uh, name server address, the Google name server. And the host name, of course, uh, again, is going to be Moss. And the domain name I'll pick for this little network is admintone.moss. And my usual user is stackadmin. Enter a suitable secure password. And now we got good network connectivity. It picked up our time zone. We're going to install or configure the disk to use the entire disk. Write our changes. Just going to install the regular packages when that part comes up. Including the uh, SSH. Because we want to be able to SSH into it. So again, this is on a virtual machine, a KVM server. I'm installing it on. It has um, a, a a network set up, a local network that will be able to uh, have its own separate MOS stuff in there. So when we stand up new VMs in that MOS network and connect to it, uh, it'll be able to be seen by our MOS server here and we'll be able to install stuff on it. So we're going to make sure we select Open SSH Server. And I'll have all the network details outlined in my article which we will see at the end of the video. Now we're rebooting our server. And now there's a couple of things we need to do on our virtual machine server, our KVM server that's hosting this. Uh, we need to forward some ports so that we can, uh, one, SSH to it, and then two, connect to the web page, the last web page. So we're going to wait for it to boot up here real quick. And uh, thanks to the wonders of video editing, that should be rather quick. Now here we are on VM1, which is my KVM host. And we're doing an IP table thing for pre-routing to route port 2222 for NAT to our MOS server, which, which we gave, remember, the static IP of 192.168.100.2. Just to make sure everything went right, we're going to list out all the NAT policies here. And yep, we see it right there at the top. For DNAT, uh, 2222 is forwarded 192.168.100.2, port 22. Uh, so now we should be able to SSH into our box. I'm doing it from my laptop here. 
to port 2222. And there we go. Ask for a password. I'm going to go ahead and log into that. Well, you're going to want to head and go ahead and do all your updates. Uh, so we're about to do an apt update and an apt upgrade. And this will take a while, so we'll go ahead and cut to the chase. Uh, which we did here. We're going to create an admin user for our MOS server. It's using this command, sudo moss create admin. Type in a suitable password, a username and a password. I'm gonna pretty much use the same username I used before. And a little bit different password for security reasons. And type in my email. And take the default. Now we need to add a, another IP IP table command to forward our port for the web page. So we're going to forward port 5420 over to our same IP address as the same port, which is 5420. I just like to do 2222 when I'm doing that because that way I can set up multiple, I can SSH to multiple boxes from one NATed IP. Uh, but this is going to be the only port that uses this uh, this IP address and port. So again, we'll check and make sure we got our rules there, and they are. And here's the web page. If you go to VM1, uh, which is mine. and then the port 5240, it pulls up this page. We'll log in with your username and password that we just set, and click on log in. Yep, we'll save the password. And here's the, the first page of what. I just discovered I've had this running for a while, so we had a couple there. Uh, go ahead and check the link up at the top, and I'll send it to the article, and be sure to visit Edmonton, and also be sure to subscribe.